All I know is I am so happy that there was no social media when I was a sorority girl. Right? Good to see you guys. Um, before we begin, we would love it if you would subscribe. It's been so much fun to have so many new folks come and join us as we try to grow the channel and offer movie news and reviews and cool segments. We've got a cool segment coming next <laughs> week that I am very excited about personally. So hop on board. We'd love to see you. Thanks for that. Uh, our Movie House Shout Out Theater, we mentioned them last week. We're going to do it again today. The Manor Theater in Pittsburgh. 100 years for them, a great legacy for them, and they are doing their end of summer blockbuster fest. So if you have never seen the Big Lebowski in a theater full of people, you know, dressed up like the dude and drinking white Russians and quoting lines back to the screen, then you've not really lived. Are they going to let you drink white Russians? Don't go promising that if it turns out I they mean, don't do that at this theater. They have a bar at the manor. Okay, then white Russian it up. <laughs> It, you know, it sounds like a thing you've got to do. So um, that's all happening. Uh, but the big news, of course, I am excited about this, is that there's going to be a documentary about Bama Rush. Alonzo, are you following Bama Rush? Uh, unless we're talking about, like, we're talking about sorority rush. I don't know what Bama Rush is. <laughs> you are missing out. Hashtag Bama Rush is, is a huge thing on TikTok. So Alabama a school where like the Greek system is a huge deal mm -hmm. and all these young women going through rush have been posting on TikTok with like their outfit of the day. And it's become sort of like a reality series. It okay. began last year at fall rush. And now even more so to the extent that like there are people like specific young women who became like the star, the star of the year, this chick who was like Miss teen Ohio who pledged Zeta and everyone was following every move, like everything she wore all the drama is this becoming a thing like the way how actors get acting roles because they have a big you know online social media following and that helps them get hired for stuff that like you're now going to social media your way into a sorority or fraternity i mean is that what's happening maybe or these girls would have gotten bids from the houses they wanted anyway because they're like beautiful polished pageant girls i'm not saying they are the <laughs> earning it this very important thing but i'm just i'm saying is this another thing now where like you have to have the footprint of an influencer and that maybe. how like somehow sways things Oy. all i know is i am so happy that there was no social media when i was a sorority girl right <laughs> well i mean i was i was not a sorority girl i was a, i was a gdi at vanderbilt but um yeah no i I constantly thrilled that like my life before I was 30 was not captured in social media. Yes. So HBO Max and Vice are working on this documentary together. There was a huge story in the New York Times about the whole hashtag Bama Rush phenomenon. Mm. So I'll be tuning in. <laughs> I like all that kind of stuff. So Bill Paxton's family has settled with Cedar sinai Bill yes. Paxton died several years back. Um, following surgery and the family accused the surgeon of trying to do something very complex and challenging and like more sophisticated than he was capable of, of handling. And now there's been a settlement. We don't know what the amount of money was, but that happened. I imagine that settlements being settlements, neither side gets to say anything about it. There is some weird Gary Busey news out Ooh. there. He has had troubles the last several years. And then earlier this month, he was at some monster mania convention and signing autographs as many celebrities do. And mm. several women accused him of groping them during photos and just doing inappropriate things. And so he was charged with four counts of sexual harassment or assault. And then several days later was caught photographed in broad daylight at a park in Malibu with his pants down, sitting on a park bench, um, Doing something lewd in public yeah, with, and then yeah. smoking a cigar for a half an hour afterward. We hope he gets the help he needs. There's happy news too. Uh, a lot of re-releases, new releases. If you want 11 more minutes of Spider-Man No Way Home, <laughs> that is coming out on September 2nd. There's a whole new poster along with it, which is very weird because now they can cram in every character. Now that we know who all is in it, like the various Spiders men, they're not a right. surprise. Avatar is going to come out again to theaters on September 23rd. There is a, a 4K version of that in preparation for the Avatar sequel in December. I and mean, that's really cool because if you want yeah. to, I've, I've wanted to see that movie again that way, yeah. you know, projected 3D, the whole nine yards, because I, I did watch it once on, uh, you know, Netflix or something for 
for a maximum film, it was like, oh yeah, this really does need the bells and whistles. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So uh, I, I will drag Nick and we will go and we will see that. And then Glass Onion, the sequel to Knives Out, has a release date that is December 23rd. So we'll be right. sure to catch up with that when that comes out. Is that premiering at TIFF? Do we know? Is that, I did, know. did I hear that? Did I not hear that? I don't know. Okay, maybe I not. thought I thought we knew that. Maybe that's true. I <laughs> This is why we who call can, it news because it's news who to can us. Keep up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Kroll is doing his first ever Netflix special that will be oh. fun. That is called Little Big Boy. That'll be out on September 27th. I always enjoy Nick Kroll. Yeah. Publicity. <laughs> Publicity was just accurate. I mean, <laughs> it's not very. even parody. Like we've dealt with enough publicists <laughs> it was in our lives. <laughs> it really is. Um, so the season finale for Only Murders in the Building aired today. Mm. I have not watched it yet, so I Nor don't know who I. the killer is. Please don't tell us. <laughs> we have been recapping it on our Patreon. If you guys would like to come and join us there. And Patreon.com slash all day. There's a link below as well. Paul Rudd apparently is in the finale. This is all I know. Paul Rudd's in the finale because it was announced that he is going to also be in season three. Yes. Very exciting. I welcome all of that. Will Amy Schumer be back? That's a good question. Mm-hmm. We don't know. Was Amy Schumer the killer? I, that's true. Yes. Well, we haven't seen her since episode one. If she's in the finale, again, don't tell us. We haven't gotten there yet. We don't know. But we will find out soon and we'll recap for you on Friday. Cinema World, which owns Regal, right? The yeah. second biggest movie theater chain in the world. Yes, preparing huge to, in Europe. Yes. They're preparing to file for bankruptcy. <laughs> Yee. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I haven't had a chance to read the piece yet, but there was a headline this morning on The Wrap that even with some of the summer hits that have emerged, that theaters are definitely still struggling. So, Right, yeah. So they recorded losses of $3 billion, wow. billion with a B in 2020, right? Mm. It wasn't quite so bad last year. It was only $708 million in 2021. Um, and so I guess they are still struggling and they are preparing to file for bankruptcy, but they say, oh, we're still open. Customers come on in and you know come still see us, which is why it is more important than ever to support your local movie theater like we like to tell you around here. Indeed. Ideally, the indies. But yeah, apparently even the biggies could use your help. And even if theaters are open, when indeed they are open, Movie Pass is coming back, apparently, to help <sighs> you get in and see stuff. I can't believe we're still falling for that one. And what is it now? It's like a waiting list or something. Right. So they are opening up a waiting list on Thursday. So like, have you have your finger ready to hover over the button to hit send. <laughs> Do that. And then they have a launch date of they're not sure what day exactly in or around September 5th. And they're going to have a tiered structure of $10, $20, $30. I mean, it was an interesting idea. And then like so much shit came out about their practices and like giving away people's data. And yeah, it's, it's been like one little, one little fiasco after another. So uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of this. Best of luck to you folks at movie pass. If you guys have movie pass, let us know if you did it before, if you'll do it again. Very curious to know if any of that works. 